Okay, it's Walter Van Dusen, Lexington, Massachusetts. I am preparing my gear for B&H's BID Expo that's happening next week in New York City at the Javits Center. I am kicking it up a notch with some gear. I have some support from a few different companies, starting with Asun, where I'll be using the Seymour Pro, along with the iPad Pro, and this Power Cage Pro 2 cage on the iPad Pro 2 uh, bigger one. I also, I, so these are this, some of the items that I haven't set up yet. I just wanted to show in the video. So working on getting consistent color through both cameras, three cameras actually. I'll be using this FX6 with a 12 to 24 lens that I have all geared up. So I have the Color Checker Pro video. Then gray card, so I have to be able to do a gray card balance. One of the things that I'm going to do is on Friday, this Friday, a couple days from now, pick up a rental from Lens Pro to Go and they have the small HD Ultra 5 and I loved it so much and the expo is going to be huge at the B&H 50th anniversary. So another thing that I did was, I'll have, a, have them pop up. There's a YouTuber from Dallas, Texas. I believe, he normally, it sounds like he says Peter, but it's not Peter, but it's near Peter. I'll have him pop up. He uses this on his cart. So he has two containers of beverages. So this will go on my rolling stand. It's, my, it's called a Robo Cup. And then at a local hardware store, which had a very nice selection of Yetis, but this is the Yeti one that is the biggest one that fits into this. I believe it's 35 ounces. So two of these I'll have beverages, and then if other people have beverages, they can keep on filling up my container. So this is something new that I'll be having with me at the Build Conference. Another thing that I'm stressing about learning much better is audio. Now, sometimes people want to be hands-free during their interview. And I wasn't happy with the lavalier mic that I was using with my Sony wireless system, which is going directly into the Sony FX6, which I completely rigged out. Uh, Sony let me use the FX6 for the conference or expo. A lot, I asked for a wide angle lens, so they sent me the 20, 12 to 24. So I would, this is my first time ever using a FX6. This will be my main camera. So the lavalier that I've been hearing so much about is the Cause 11D made for Sony. Well, has a Sony locking right into it. So this is for hands-free, which I can 
C is working pretty well. So, so far, I'm going to solo so I can hear right now the Sankin Cos 11D, no hissing. And one of the things that they said about this was it is my beard. You want something? So the Cos 11D is very, I don't think they use the word hot, but it definitely has a nice pickup which out a lot of gain. So this would be the audio from the Sony wireless through the Cos 11D Sankin. So this audio is that. Now for the main audio, I think it'll solo. Mix Pre 3. This audio is a Sennheiser 416 pointed at my mouth, which I can hear really clear. Now, one thing that I'm looking at, which I will have on the rolling stand, is I'll have a iPad with the Wingman app, which allows me to quickly see the audio from all of the wireless. Now this, this is solo. So this is, this is a very directional mic, which I have to stop doing this because it blows it out. So this is the Sony wireless mic, very directional and I got this one because I wanted to isolate the noise, crowd ambient noise during trade shows. So if the person is holding it like this, which most people do until I grab it, if you've seen some of my videos, I just start automatically going like this. So I just wanna, I have to train myself to do a L and do this. So this audio is from this Sony mic, which is on channel one on the Mix Pre 3. One of the cool things that I saw by watching YouTube, and YouTube is 100% my Google. I don't even go to Google anymore, really. Everything's on YouTube. So I'm assuming a lot of companies know that. I'm trying to build up my YouTube channel by going to trade shows, interviewing interesting, hopefully, companies and those people that work at the companies so you can get behind the scenes of people that you could meet. But there's a company called Bumblebee and Bumblebee has these really nice, this is a short one. See how this is really helpful? Wingman by Sound Devices. So this would be on my rolling stand Okay, so this is a Bumblebee. They have two versions, uh, long and short. So I think this one is short. And one of the things that it has, which I saw in Cooley, Bumblebee, Bumblebee will be at the B&H Build Expo, 50th anniversary at the Javits Center. I think it's good because people, this hopefully helps with the pops. But this is my main audio because for the most part, if I'm doing an interview, I can back to me. Now, some people want to go hands, uh, hands free. So I will have to go to channel two. Now channel two is the cause 11 going through Sony. So on this headset, to me, it sounds really good. So cause 11, cause 11. 
Sony handheld. So I have the, what's cool about the Mix Pre 3 is I can, they call it solo. Now, I'm not bringing this to the show, but just to have it since I have it here. The, this audio is the Sennheiser 416 going to channel three. Now, one of the things that I'm going to do I'll keep it right here so you can see it. That has a right coat, but I think uh, Bumblebee makes these too. And what makes the Bumblebee different, I guess, is they have a system inside that gives almost like a bubble. So it doesn't, there's an air bubble inside that helps reduce the noise, which I did see people talk about that. Okay, I'm doing a top-down camera too. So this is the Sennheiser 416. I'm recording to all the tracks, uh, Mix Pre 3. Now, one thing is cool is I'm going to just listen to this so I don't have to hear all this. I've been to a lot of trade shows this year. NAB, Cinegear Expo, LA and Brooklyn. Uh, last year, Pro. Fusion Expo in Toronto. Yep, Profusion. B&H also has depth of field. NAB was the Super Bowl, and there was a lot of companies there, so I think I did about 40, 45 interviews on my rolling stand, which I'll have on my YouTube channel. Uh, then I went to Cinegear Expo LA, and one of the things I wanted to implement is for me to be more hands-on in front of the camera, actually trying to be your hands-on person at the show and giving you my impression as I touch everything. So hopefully you all are liking the more me being your attendee at the show. And the goal is the shows that are amazing, hopefully you guys can make it to it yourself. It's a lot better to touch and ask questions and see it in person than it is on YouTube, but I am doing my best to try to give you the experience of being at the show.